Hi everyone, I am heading into Alpine Hideaway Campground and I just wanted to show you around the campground. So this is Spring Valley Road. This is just before the spur that goes into Gatlinburg. So it's the last campground. Um, these cabins right here on the right and left are from Foothills Cabins, from Foothills Campground, which is before you get to this one um, in Pigeon Forge. So you have to go to their office. And then there's apartments here on the left. And as you come up here, you'll see the sign right there for Alpine Hideaway. So this is how you get into the campground. Excuse my dashboard showing there. Can't tilt it up. So here on the right is a swimming pool. And the office is over here on the left. And I will also include some still shots later at the end. This is a playground here on the right. There's a place for parents to sit down. They do have a security gate. You need a code. There's a little gazebo there. Lots and lots of Christmas decorations. And then, now these are small campsites, very close together. And it seems that there are several um, long-term spots here that people are renting seasonal. But there is not a lot of room behind them, or between them. And you can see that they, they're not long. So some of the campers, like there's a fifth wheel here on the left, it's pretty long. But some of them, some of these campsites are really short. So you would want to make sure that your camper would fit before you would make a reservation here. And again, these are very close together. There's not really any grassy yard between them at all. Now up straight ahead there in the middle is the bathhouse and laundry room. And to the right here at the end you see the cabins and that's where I am staying. So there is a loop that goes around. I am staying right here in cabin two which is right across from the bathroom so it's very convenient. There are private bathrooms with everything in one, and then there is like a main bathroom with multiples in it, and I will show you that at the end also. So if we go up the hill here, I haven't been up here. Oh, it's a dead end. I don't know if these are all seasonal sites. So, but it dead ends right here. So I'm gonna turn around. That one's definitely seasonal, that fifth wheel. The cabins do all have a swinging um, porch swing on them. And there's a water spigot outside, a picnic table, charcoal grill, and a fire ring. Now let's go up this way and see what's up here. These are definitely all seasonals. You can see how close they are. I don't know what the rates are for seasonal, but you could probably find out on the website. Sorry, the camera keeps moving. Okay, so there is a turnaround here. There's a house up on the hill, a couple houses up there. Looks like this is some kind of maintenance building. And then back down. So I'll go slow here. You can see how close they are. That kind of tends to be the norm in Pigeon Forge. Um, they squeeze in as many as they can. Which, on a business point, that makes sense. Because it's, 
you know, they can rent more spaces. It's pretty full here when they're in season. So this is um, January 2nd, I think. Today is January 2nd, 2023. So it is off season. And that is it. And then I'll show you the cabin. Okay, now I'm going to take you inside. This is cabin number two. It is right across from the bathrooms. Now this um, plush blanket here is mine. But the quilt, pillow shams, belongs to the campground. So you do have a bed with linens on it. And you have two nightstands. That's an extra heater over there. There's your air conditioner and it does come with a remote so you don't have to try to reach up there. And there is the bed area. I'm guessing it's probably a queen. Now I do have my stuff in here so um, that's my stuff down there. So it comes with a microwave, coffee maker, TV. It does have cable. You have a fridge there. The heater just came on so that's a heater there it works really well that is my porta potty because obviously there's no bathroom in here and I brought that one out of my camper um, up here you get some hooks which would be better to be over here in my opinion because they're behind the TV and kind of uh, out of the way there so you have mini blinds no curtains, just the uh, valance at the top. Same here on this side. Wooden floors. So that is the whole cabin. Let me get back here and show you from the doorway. There is a senior discount and I believe a military discount. Pets are not allowed. In fact, they are not allowed to the point of this warning. $200 cleanup fee if you bring a pet in here or smoke. Uh, there is a ceiling fan. And that's it for the cabin. So I'll show you some um, still shots around the campground in a little bit. And I'll uh, see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. This is Alpine Hideaway in Pit and Forge, Tennessee. See you in the next one. So this is the women's um, bathrooms. There are private bathrooms um, that I have pictures of also that you can walk in. It's just like a bathroom in a house. So here is the vanity area. Got outlets for your hair dryers. And then here is a shower. It's like a handicapped shower. There's no base at the bottom, so you could roll right into that one. And then over here, we have private toilets. It's like two, three of those. So this one would be handicap accessible because it's larger. And then some regular showers here. Let's check these out. Go very nice. I mean they're like they're like new. They're really nice. Very clean.